Hello once again everyone. Let's get back to business. Oh okay, I didn't slow down that time. I <laughs> I just tried to record like a second ago and it was laggy, so I had to redo it. Good thing I didn't play. Cause it was my mouse was like laggy like crazy. Now if I remember correctly, we are staring at here. Uh I forgot something in here. As Get get used to that. Like I'm gonna be doing that a lot. I gotta take out my other headphone because I don't want to be hearing that. Those sounds are just weird. Oh my god, just load. That is scary every time. Okay, so apparently there's something right here. Take the painting off. Oh, thank god, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Yeah, if I completely miss it, it's a very good place to hide something, damn it. Such a good room. Such a good hiding spot. Swear. I am not just messing around with this just to pass the time. We have friends in very cool places. Not like that. Okay, so we are not going to waste any time here. We're going to go straight over to the machine room. So we are fucking done here. I am sick and tired of playing here. For a second there, I thought that thing was just closed off, and I was like, God no. Use the damn key on that. This is gonna be probably a short level or short episode because I don't really feel like getting scared right now. Because I have this poop waiting to come out. And if I get scared, it's probably gonna come out. Fuck. What the hell is going on? Eh, eh, tinder box. Save me tinder. Oh, tinder boxes. Sweet! Yeah! What does this thing do? That is one scary ass lever. What? Don't you dare go out! It's behind here. Why am I laggy? I don't want to be laggy. 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Mm. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. I'm going to pause it right there. I'm not going to end it. I'm going to turn on the light. It's like bright outside. It's like 3 p.m. right now. But I'm getting scared. I need something light on me. I need some light. Yes, I am losing my actual sanity right now. Because there's always a good reason to have a box. Boxes, boxes. Um, so yeah, this is scaring me. What's going on here? That was probably my first bad idea. There? There's no one there. 
Rip Penn's scared, you dumbass. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I, know. I can protect I you. Can protect you. Come to Brandenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. I just completely what am I messed to make that up. Of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing mm. sound calls to me. Uh. A sound of defying description. <coughs> a voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I don't think he's alive anymore. Oh, no one is ever. Oh, machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure the only... Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the other in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Well, we have three. Screw that rule. <laughs> That's not good. Something tells me I'm gonna need that cog. Can I pick this thing up? I'm gonna need this later. Ooh, tender box. Okay, so I bet I'm gonna get scared. In about like 10 seconds. I have a cog. I'm actually just watching that. Let's pick this damn thing up. And whoop! Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so that's a great jump. Okay. I'm gonna turn my light. Fill this place up with light. I believe there's something scary in the next room, so I'm gonna quickly do all this crap. I believe that there's something scary here. It's coming after me, and I don't know what it is. I'm wasting my tinder boxes. How many more do I have? I have 12 left. I'm not wasting anything. Okay. What's this? I guess I shoved someone's butt up there. No. I should probably quit doing that. I really hope that thing doesn't break. Hell's that? Anyway, move. Where does this thing go? <laughs> I'm making so much noise. Oh, it fits there. It's in here. Ash, ash, ash. Did someone die in here? Shovels. Box. Tin the box. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. There's so many boxes, but there's nothing behind them. That, that really gets me. You know? Just like, you, you expect to have something fun. I feel like something is, like, trying to get to me. And it's doing a great job at it. Cogwheel fits there, it goes right through it. Someone's gonna scare me, someone's gonna scare me, someone's gonna scare me, I know it. I just love this. I love this game. Everything just like flops around and stuff. Okay, so. 
Ah. Uh, needs more. Well, before I will run. What? How much more? Okay. What do you mean it needs more? Oh, it's when I look at the pipes. That's when it makes noises. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I'm gonna steal you. Oh, hell yeah. Um, barrel, box, box, barrel, same barrel I just threw, box, mmm, mementos, find a way to start the engine, oh, fuck, that's the only one, really, diary, 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 uh, notes. Mm. You're no help whatsoever, whoever the hell I am. No help whatsoever. Oh, hey. 17th of July, 1839. <coughs> How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. I was really expecting the monster. Uh, mm, what? What's his face? Madame Medusa or whatever. I forget what I'm calling it now. I might want to like pick up a new name for him. I'm really bored. <laughs> I don't want to adventure out in this room. Because I'm pretty sure something damn scary is going to happen. So that's why I really don't do I don't really want to do it. So I'm messing around. That wasn't some freaky ass light. <laughs> oh my god, that was weird. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna end it there because um, I am bored. I really wanted to play this game, but I just do not feel like getting scared right now. I don't know what it is.